closure of the viewers' comments. I'm just going to say a few brief things before we begin. Number one, when you choose to comment on my YouTube channel, there are terms and conditions, there are rules that you must follow. It's my house. I expect you to follow the rules. If you don't, your comment probably will not be published. I ask that you be honorable and graceful, i.e. respectful of everyone here. Don't go around telling people what they should or shouldn't do. If you come here making claims, making claims about this or that or the third or something that's happened to you or whatever, having to do with grammar or courts or whatever, you better be able to certify your correct sentence structure knowledge because this is a correct sentence structure channel and I am going to call you to the carpet on it. If you start making claims about something that you perhaps don't know what you're talking about, it's very important for the safety of the vessel. If you have closure on correct sentence structure, you should be able to provide that proof like that. So keep that in mind. The energy you bring here, I will return. I will balance it out with rule one, rule equal. So without further ado, let's get to the comments. First comment comes from Dion Wasa. And they say, you say you have certifications of a math grammar. So why do we need this to recreate sustainable live food, forest, paradise, garden, life, styles on our motherland of live earth? Period. Now, is this a question, friends and neighbors, or is this a statement? I see why do we need, I don't see a question mark anywhere. You say you have certifications of a math grammar. Well, I do have certification of a mathematical interface on grammar. There are 900-ish pieces of continuance of the evidence on this YouTube channel that you're on right now writing this comment. So, uh, yeah, I do say that. Why do we need this? And by this, I think they mean certifications of a gra math grammar. Who's we, though? Dion Wasa. Who's we? Do you have a mouse in your pocket? Do you have multiple personalities? Do you speak for a group of people? Who's we? Just curious. So just to take the statement, i.e. question, whatever it is, on its face value, why do we need this to recreate sustainable live food, forest, paradise, garden lifestyles on our motherland of live earth? Well, you would have to answer that yourself. I, I can't tell you why you need something. I've never done that. I've never told anyone they need correct sentence structure, communication, part of syntax, grammar. I've never said that. Um, if you want to recreate sustainable live food, what do you mean by recreate? Wouldn't it just be creating it? Because recreate means no creation. So you wouldn't be creating anything. Forest paradise garden lifestyles on our motherland of live earth. Well, I mean, that's up to you if you want to use correct sentence structure to do something like that. Correct sentence structure really doesn't have anything to do with that. So I don't know if you're looking for a lifestyle coach. Because I see the word lifestyles there. Are you looking for a grammar teacher or a lifestyle coach? You may have walked into the wrong venue, Dion Wasa. Thanks for the uh, interesting comment, though, in any case. Next comment comes from Beaver Cleaver. And they say, prayer hands, uh, sunrise or sunset, and then shaka. Don't forget Maui, shaka, sunrise or sunset, prayer hands. And that's a comment on the video where I give closure on what the shaka is. Don't forget Bowie. Well, my heart definitely goes out to those individuals in that particular location with what they've been going through, not only in the last few months, but throughout Hawaii's history of interactions with foreigners coming onto their soil. Next comment comes from Man Mountain Man X. And they say TY011123. Is that is that a Terminator model that we, we haven't heard about yet? 
you know, like the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, the Terminator TY01123. Is that a is that a model number for for an AI Terminator? That's what it kind of reminds me of. Because I know TY would be syntaxed as a pronoun, and then 011123 would also be syntaxed as a pronoun. And if 011123 is to be inferred as a syntax uh, scenario, it's not, because a 1 would never, ever follow a 1 in a syntax scenario. And I have given closure to that ad nauseum. You're more than welcome to study the almost 900 videos on this chan channel, Man Mountain Man X, and get up to speed. Thanks for the comment. Next comment comes from Ega0117, and they say, Who was that British who used to have a YouTube channel? He learned the syntax language from David Miller. And then uh, hands in the air emoji. Well, Ega0117, I can guess that you mean colon mark hyphen lowercase k kishon colon Christopher, who uh, had his YouTube channel deleted uh, for whatever reason. However, the last sentence you use there is not correct because he certainly did not learn correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. There is no evidence that he learned it certainly not in his performances or documents. He actually offers plain, simple English documents under the guise of quantum grammar using the 1 by 1.9 flag, which makes no sense at all because there is no correct sentence structure in any of Mark Lowercase K's uh, public documents anyways that I've seen. I will say that Mark does know how to parse, but parse is just one third of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. You have to have the other two thirds to have 100% full closure on it. And you have to be able to use it and prove you can use it in the public, which Mark has never, ever done. Next comment comes from member AAAA hyphen BK7KQ, and they say, I could only dream of speaking with the man himself. The value, the vlau, I'm sorry, the vlau, I have to guess that they mean value, of looking back into my inbox and finding replies, R-E-P-L-I-E-S, R-E-P-L-I-E-S, replies of the king is just something many people will, in parentheses, come to dream about. While I understand the sentiment of a comment like this, I would discourage this type of thinking if you're going to get into learning correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. AAAA is obviously a beginner, perhaps new to this. They certainly don't have closure on it. I know that <clears throat> I know that when I was new to this, and I was actually speaking with David Wynn Miller on the phone, I was starstruck. The guy's charisma was, it, it came through the phone. I don't, I've never spoken with anyone that has the charisma that David Wynn Miller had. And so it was sort of like talking to a rock star. But if you're going to participate with rule one, rule equal, putting people on pedestals and calling them kings and things like that is not correct psychology. David Wynn Miller was a man like any other man. He may have had special gifts, special talents, special skills. There's no doubt about it. But he was just like you and I, just like I'm no different, just like Colin Russell hyphen J. Colin Gould is no different. Colin Mark Lower, uh, hyphen lowercase K. Kishon is no different. Everyone, rule one, rule equal, man or woman, come into this world the same way and we leave the same way. As in alone, naked, with no material possessions. So that's rule one, rule equal. So AAAA, I highly recommend perhaps taking a look, looking at David Wynn Miller through a different lens, not putting him on a pedestal because people that tend to do that tend to suffer from what I would call protagonist-centered morality where your heroes 
you find out that you're, you know, when you meet, you, what do they say? Never meet your heroes because when you meet your heroes, you will see their flaws and they won't be your heroes anymore. Well, that's a good thing because everybody has flaws. Every single person has flaws. Some people have spectacular abilities, spectacular skills in certain areas, but everybody is capable of that. No one is no different than any other as far as the rule one, rule equal goes. So I do discourage that type of stuff, and you will find in the rules, the terms and conditions of my comments field, that hero worship is not permitted here. So you're treading that line by calling David Wynn Miller the king. Okay. Now he did claim to be king of Hawaii. If you're using it in that capacity, well then okay. But I don't feel like that. that's, that's the capacity you're using it in. But thank you for the comment and for the opportunity to share this clarity with the viewers. Next comment comes from Galaxy 13 user, and they said, I wanted to ask before this stream stopped, are you only sticking with TikTok? And then I said, I haven't decided. Now, with this, uh, I made an announcement in a live stream, not only uh, the other day, but also a few months ago, that if I don't reach a subscriber count of 6,000, by January 1st, 2024, that I will be vacating investing energy in YouTube anymore. Meaning I will not create new content here. I will probably continue with TikTok, but not quite like I did before. Uh, I will be continuing, of course, with workshops because I will literally be concentrating my energy on those people who are serious and committed to learning this grammar technology rather than just throwing energy into a YouTube video or a TikTok live stream and hoping that people will return the energy with the confidential workshops. They do return the energy, rule one, rule equal. What they put in is what they get out. So that's what I'm going to concentrate on. That way I maintain a balance in my life, put food in the table, keep a roof over my head, that type of thing. You know, TikTok and YouTube don't really do that, if that makes sense. Another comment from AAAA, and they say, please consider continuing your YouTube channel. If TikTok suits your purpose better, then why not? I was welcomed aboard, so it wouldn't be polite to make bail when progress is made. And so I give Kuliana back. I say, so the 800 plus videos already published aren't value enough for your membership? Interesting. Well, if you want to get serious about rule one, rule equal, consider applying for a workshop. And that goes with what I just said. Uh, that's where the rule one, rule equal comes in. I mean, the way I look at it, if you're a subscriber to this channel, then you are literally showing me that you have gratitude for the thousands of hours of free educational material that I've already put out into the public. All right. I mean, the loyalist tier of membership is two bucks a month. And the Loyalist Contributor membership is 7 bucks a month, which is like, what, one Starbucks coffee? Every little bit helps, and I'm very grateful for it. And I think I've put out quite enough content to be uh, deserving of that in a rule one, rule equal sense with what's already on the channel. So AAAA, if you are serious about learning the grammar, you know where to contact me. Otherwise, there are between 800 and 900 videos of enormous value for you to study. Thank you for the comment. Next comment comes from Tin Rib Music, and they say, The double space was spotted early here. Great value is with your confirm, as square bracket is a level of confusion now. A known thanks to your good work. Thank you, Jason. Author, video student, Jonathan Simon Bell. Well, thank you very much for the comment and for your membership, Jonathan. Thank you for the kind words, and I'm glad I could help. This comment comes from Ivan, a living man, and they say, Your passion is unique, and I'm grateful for give me another point of view in this sovereign path. I wonder if they mean sovereign or sobering. 
Just I want to let you know that it's not easy to apply all of this in Latin America. Thank you, Matthew, for your time and efforts to communicate your wisdom. I hope you will let us know something about you in the future. Take care. I do know um, <clears throat> that for some reason, Spanish-speaking individuals want to call me Matthew. When I've clearly said in numerous videos that my name is Colin Jason Knife and Matthew Colin Glass, please call me Jason. You may call me Jason. Jason is my first name. For some reason, Spanish-speaking individuals want to use Matthew. I don't. Maybe maybe Ivan can uh, can shed a little light on why that is. But I do, you know, with the honor and the grace. Um, forgive that type of thing. Uh, not much I can do about it anyways. I mean, even if I say someone to call me Jason, if they want to call me something else, then uh, and they want to violate those terms and conditions, that's their choice. You know, I can't force someone to do something unless they're literally trespassing upon me, causing a damage, then I'll take it serious. But this individual obviously means no harm, only is coming from a position of uh, sentiment and kindness. So I return that and thank you for the viewership. Thank I, I thank you for letting me show you something, an angle that maybe you've never seen before in learning this grammar. And I really appreciate the comment. Next comment comes from member Daryl Bennett, my man. And he says, Rumble, Brighton. I'd have to say that uh, Daryl is suggesting perhaps other video platforms. I'm, I'm guessing that's what it is. Jason Matthew Glass, the knowledge given, gratitude, joyful thanksgiving for the peace, grace, honor, and friendship. Yes. Thank you, Daryl. I appreciate the, uh, the comment, the sentiments, your membership, your friendship and the communications we've shared over the last year or so. Thank you very much, my friend. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like and I'll do the same and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next one.